Okay, hello everybody. Uh, today I will be playing with my hands. Uh, I have a Razer Hydra which enables me to move my hands and arms, but I will be concentrating on my hands today. Um, I have configured an, uh, special buttons uh, to move my hands. Uh, for instance, I can move my thumb with a switch. It's just a zero or one, so uh, it's a very simple one. Just like the index finger, I can also move that one with the switch. Uh, but I will be concentrating on my other fingers, which is basically an analog uh, input, which enables me to grab things. Uh, I will be using this to test uh, my implementation of the, uh, the hands uh, in order to grab things around me. So I will be moving into the house on the left of me, where I will be finding a, a table with a book on top of it. And I will be oh, running through the door, actually, this time. So here's the table with the book. I will sit down next to it, so like this. Um, the table itself is a static object, so I can't move it. Uh, and then we already have the first uh, uh, issue with the physics in Unity, because uh, my hands are kinematic and the table is static, I can move through the table, as you can see. So, it gives uh, a strange effect because actually I can move into the table if I want to. Uh, this is the downside, but for this demo it's quite convenient because I have the book here over here and uh, that's uh, a proper dynamic object, so I move that one by uh, keeping my hand underneath it. Normally I wouldn't be able to do this because actually I'm moving my hand through the table underneath the book and lift it up. And the same goes of course, with the other hands. So I can now lift the book up with both my hands. And now you can see, well, I can do it, but it's a bit, off, a bit awkward. Uh, let's use my thumb a bit and then you can see it, it kind of works but the colliders are not very very accurate and my hands are actually also moving through the book and the book is moving through my hands uh, and it doesn't matter much uh, whether I use discrete collisions or continuous collisions, it always is a bit flaky like this. Uh, next to that, there's also a strange effect when you lift the book, not just grab it, but lift it on both hands. Uh, let's try to do that. Let's keep both hands underneath, like this, then I can lift it. But now when I move my hands to the left or the right, oops, the book will stay at, at, in one place. Let's see if I can do it. See? Well, no, that's a very good example. Now the book stays in one place. It doesn't follow my hand. I can use my thumb to hold it back. Maybe. It, sometimes it moves with me. So actually grabbing the book with physics in Unity is kind of limited. So it's a very nice experiment. I've uh, played a lot with these hands right now, but it's not the way forward, I think. I think I will be looking for a different uh, solution, but because picking up this book and you can see when I really grab the hand, it's simply the, the fingers also move through the book. Uh, that's because the kinematics of the hands are not limited by the cushions. And I tried to change that, but it doesn't work very well. So, so if you want to try this at home, uh, it's a lot of fun, but at the moment, it's not the way forward. So uh, thank you and bye-bye. Uh, uh,